How to automate your real estate wholesaling business. Have you ever wanted to just delegate your entire wholesaling operation so you don't really have to work 40, 50 hours a week in the business anymore and have it completely off your hands? Are you sick of these gurus selling you a $4,000 seminar for a weekend to learn the tricks and secrets of actually how to automate your business, learning literally how to turn your business on autopilot? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you the entire blueprint, the entire weekend seminar for putting your business on autopilot for wholesaling real estate absolutely for free. Before we cut the fluff out of the seminars, you know, there's no boats, no height, no Lambos. Just do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe Get the most free value from me and let's get into it. Now, if you want to learn actually how to put your business on autopilot, actually how to delegate the business, really how to automate the business, you have to understand this number one concept and that is you can't put your wholesaling business on autopilot or you can't delegate. And before you get out of the video, like, oh, okay, he's going to go into rant why he can't. You can to a certain extent. What I mean by this is it's almost impossible to go from working 50 hours a week in wholesaling real estate and delegating it where it turns into zero hours a week. What I can tell you in this video is I can show you how to bring it from working 50, 60 hours a week to about two to three hours. And that's really the closest thing to autopilot or delegating or automating a business as you really can. Because unfortunately, when you automate a business, you're still gonna have to go check it. Maybe one to two hours a week is good for you, but I'm telling you right now, it gets a lot tougher, especially when you start trying to cut that one to two hours a week off. It's like if you have the business going and you don't check it, you don't know if the business is falling apart or not. This is why that one to two hours a week one I'm gonna show you is actually gonna really help you figure out what you actually have to figure out in the business and what you don't have to, of knowing what to do. So when you look at a wholesaling real estate business, and especially when you delegate it, you wanna put on autopilot, you want automation systems for it, you have to really boil down wholesaling real estate to its core principles. And this I figured out is three things. Marketing, acquisitions, and dispositions. You get to the point where you can actually automate the systems really well, where you don't have to work in that business. So let's break down actually how to delegate each one. Number one, we have marketing. So it really depends on what kind of business you have for wholesaling real estate of your marketing. Are you big on drying for dollars? Are you big on RVMs? Are you big on SMS text blasting, cold calling? Whatever you're really into, you're gonna have to figure out how to delegate that. This could be, for example, in your cold calling, is you figure out somebody to cold call for you, right? Like if you were spending five to 10 hours a week cold calling a probate list, obviously if you wanna delegate it, put it on autopilot, you can't be doing that. So you're gonna have to find a VA, I recommend onlinejobs.ph, upwork.com to find them. You hire the VA and train them to do the task you're doing. Next here on the marketing is the list polling. So if you're polling the probate list every week, it's costing you four to five hours a week of doing that. All you really gotta do is train a VA how to do it and they'll pull the list for you. They'll send you the list, you can put the list together. You can also hire a marketing manager for this if you really wanna delegate things, really depending on your budget. You can have another VA do SMS text blasting for you. And really when it comes to drawing for dollars, I know drawing for dollars is probably one of the best sources of revenue for your business, especially if you're in a really good market for it. And it sounds really hard to delegate, but you actually can. To automate the system, you have to find a marketing manager and have them hire drivers for you, $15, $20 an hour to go and drive for leads for you. And then have that marketing manager put the leads in, skip tracing it, giving it for a VA cold caller to do. From there, you have that VA put all the stuff in your CRM. I prefer Podio, especially the hot leads. And this brings us back to acquisitions. Now, the point of marketing is just getting a yes from a seller saying that they're interested in selling the property and they're basically qualified from the four questions, motivation, condition, time frame, price. This brings us back now to acquisitions. Acquisitions, the point of that is to go from a yes, I'm interested in selling my house to a written contract. So how do we do this? You have to have an acquisitions manager, especially when you're delegating your business. Usually most people's acquisitions manager is themselves. When I started out, I was my marketer, my cold caller, my acquisitions manager, my dispo person. I was, I was all these things. So if we get in the acquisitions, how are we gonna delegate going on appointments, closing virtually over the phone? We're gonna have to hire an acquisitions manager. Now the hardest thing to do in this business, especially with delegation, is finding somebody to actually put properties under contract. That is the toughest thing. So I feel your pain here. I recommend either an Indeed or a job site to actually bite the bullet, cost some money, and actually hire someone who has some prior experience with sales or finding somebody who's really good at talking to sellers. Once you find them, they're gonna have to go to shadow you on appointments and actually see you closing the process. And you're actually gonna have to train them very well. I prefer the 333 approach, especially when you're training somebody. So what's a 333 approach? This is what I do in my business. I bring an acquisitions manager and they actually watch me close three deals. So they go shadow me as my partner, but they don't really say anything. And they watch me close three deals of $25,000 or more. The next three is I actually talk with them. So we go on three more appointments 
and they do some talking. I do some talking. I sort of close it there and they experienced three more closings of $25,000 of profit or more. And then the last three, so the three, three did those in the last three here, we actually have the acquisitions manager do all the talking. You don't really talk unless you have to save the deal. You have to actually watch them close three deals in front of you of $25,000 or more. And then boom, they're ready to go and they go on their own appointments. That's the approach I do. It's unconventional. It's pretty much a gauntlet for our acquisitions managers, but we pay them very well, at least 10 to 15% of the deal. Lastly here, we have dispositions, which is basically selling the deal. Things are different. If you do a lot of wholetailing or fix and flips, then your dispo agent can be a little bit different. I prefer if you're actually doing a strict wholesaling real estate operation, you actually have a realtor who can actually get a percentage of the deal, roughly five to 7% of the deal if they do their dispo really well, even 10% if they have a really, really good buyer and have them be pulling cash buyers for you, selling the deal, and you basically have that automated. The thing you have to understand about automating a real estate wholesaling operation is you're gonna to have to cut percentages of the deal to pay your people. If you do not give them a commission of the deal, it's not gonna be well. Even our marketing VAs, maybe they're getting five, $6 an hour, they're still gonna get 50, 100 bucks for every appointment and deal they do. Cutting your employees in on the deal is gonna give you the best results in your business. And so overall, when you're running that business, it should be about two to three hours a week of worth of work. Preferably, I enjoy five hours a week, and let me tell you what we really do. So we do basically morning meetings and we have weekly meetings. So these morning meetings are about 15, 20 minutes every single morning on a Zoom of the entire team. And we basically we go over the day, the goals and what we have to do and a quick recap of some of the deals we have Monday through Friday. And then usually on Friday, we actually do a full recap of the entire week, deep dive on the deals, the marketing, the results, the KPIs, everything like that. I'm going to tell you a dirty little secret here. When you go to a seminar to learn how to automate or delegate your business, 90% of that information comes from one book. And a lot of the information I'm telling you right now comes from that book too. It's called Traction from Gino Wickham. This is a pretty cool book. Obviously there's free copies over there on the internet, but most people have to pay for it. It's like 15 bucks, but this is a really cool book about how to automate a business, actually creating systems. This is where most of that information comes from. They regurgitate it and sell five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars So at the end of the day, you have to decide what kind of business you want to run. Do you want to be that person that is running with their head cut off, working 60, 70, 80 hours a week? Or do you want to be that person that can delegate it? Because once you delegate it, you can actually increase your marketing and get better results. Now your ROI is going to go down, but you got to think about it from this perspective, how much is your time worth in your sanity? I could be making a million dollars by myself in wholesaling, working 90 hours a week, and I'm just not happy about it. What if I can go out here and make, let's say for example, $3 million a week, but I can only keep 60% of that because I'm paying my employees well. You would take that 60% of 3 million, right? That's the way you have to look at it. You're getting less of the piece of the pie, but the pie gets so much bigger. It actually makes it up. That's why scaling your business is really important. And that's why creating automation systems is better. Also, you gotta look at like, I'm making more money. I'm working less. It's a win-win for everyone, right? At the end of the day, you have to remember why you're automating this business. The number one thing I can tell you is why I've had success automating my business, why I had success actually delegating systems, putting this business on autopilot and actually training my employees the right way. It actually all came from me actually being in every role in this business. So if you're not making at least a hundred thousand dollars per year in real estate wholesaling, I don't really recommend putting your business on autopilot yet. Get some more experience in this business. The number one reason why I'm so successful is because when I'm training a VA, I actually was cold calling five hours a day, five days a week for a year straight. When I was doing my acquisitions training, I was actually closing in front of my acquisitions agent, showing my experience in this business. When my acquisitions agent has a question, I can go answer it. When marketing managers have questions about list pulling, I was actually in the trenches pulling this list. My dispo was in the trenches doing that. I'm telling you, if you wanna have really good results, you're gonna to have to have experience in this business. And the best way is to actually going out here and taking action. Now I know automating this business and putting on autopilot's not for everyone, but I'm telling you, if you do the systems right, you can live the life of your dreams working four or five hours a week running an insanely great operation. That's what I did, it changed my life. If you're actually looking to do this, I'd recommend you start slow. Your first hire should be marketing, then dispo, then acquisitions last. And boom, that's my whole seminar for scaling your business, your autopilot. I could have made this into like a really sexy like course and sell it for thousands of dollars, but guys, give it all for free because I'm trying to teach wholesaling real estate absolutely for free. So if you're getting any value of this video, please do me a big favor and smash that like button and subscribe to the most free value from me and I'll see you soon. Have a blessed one.
Hey guys, Zach in here from Flip with Rick. And after helping tens of thousands of people get started in wholesaling real estate and helping so many people out go from $0 to $100,000 in wholesaling real estate, I'm super excited to announce my new wholesaling mastery course. This wholesaling mastery course will have everything step-by-step -step on the whole entire wholesaling processes. I'm gonna give you real deal examples. I'm gonna hold your hand throughout the whole wholesaling process. This course will give you everything you need to know to make up to 100,000 to over a million dollars per year in wholesaling real estate profits. Most real estate gurus out there will charge you around $5,000 for a course like this. But today, if you click on the link, you will get my wholesaling mastery course for the low price of sell out. What? What are you, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What do you mean? I knew you would do this. I knew you were going to go the course route with the guru. It goes against everything we've preached from day one. Don't be a sellout. The course is free. What? I'm, the course is free. I'm giving it for free. Oh, I apologize. Carry on. Jeez. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, duh. Do you think I'm going to go sell out as like a regular guru selling you a course? I'm not trying to make money off of you guys. Guys, over here, all you got to do is click there to just sign up. No gimmicks, nothing. Absolutely for free. It's a free wholesaling course. Literally, I've seen every single wholesaling course. I have access to all the 10,000 mentorships. Guys, I've literally copied them step by step. I literally have an entire course set out just for you for wholesaling real estate. Click on that and let's get started.